Hey Travel Buddies, this is Josh from Travel Buddy Games here. I want to show off this first off the line copy of the Great Barrier Reef card game. Uh, we kickstarted this in April and set a December delivery date, but as of today, it is on a boat on its way to the U.S. So we're going to defend, uh, we're going to deliver this uh, board game early. Uh, I tried to do an unboxing video for this earlier and did not manage to save that video. So fortunately for everybody involved, I'm better at making games than I am at making videos. But I still wanted to take you guys through this and show you all the cool stuff you get in the box. So let's check it out. Uh, we've got this baggie with the coral meeples and the tokens in there. We're going to dump that out and look at those in a second. We've got two uh, paper pieces in here. One is a rule book, one is a fact sheet. Uh, and this is kind of going to be standard for most Travel Buddy games. We're going to have one single page document front and back that teaches the rules of the game. And we want these games to have some depth to them so that they're fun to play, but we also want them to be approachable. I want you to be able to bust this out on a train or in a hostel uh, when you're making new friends and uh, and be able to teach it in just a couple of minutes. So uh, two page rule book, front and back, uh, including graphical examples. We've got a big scoring example here at the end. We've got uh, an example of card play down here, setup example, uh, as well as some iconography breakdowns for what you're going to find in the game. The actual rules are just this column of text. And then this section that goes in detail about your actions and how you score at the end. This text all here is part of the end game scoring example, so it really is quite approachable. Uh, I'm really excited about how this, uh, how the rule book turned out and how the fact sheet turned out. Uh, the pre-production copy they sent me, they didn't lay very flat. They had some whitening on the edges. Uh, for the final product, they've really cleaned it up. They're nice, they're slick, they're smooth, they lay pretty flat in the box, they look really good. Uh, the fact sheet we've got is another staple of Travel Buddy games. Uh, we want to make sure that we're setting games in travel destinations and then giving people a reason to learn about those destinations and hopefully travel to them. So this has got some facts about the sea life that lives in the Great Barrier Reef, specifically the uh, creatures that are featured in our game. We've got some general facts about the Great Barrier Reef and then some information about how you can contribute to conservation efforts because that's a really awesome thing to do for one of the natural wonders of the world. Uh, on the back of this fact sheet we've got a little more game related information. We created a solo mode so that you can play this on plane or train by yourself. You can play it at home when you feel like visiting the Great Barrier Reef without having to actually go to Australia. And then we've got a little brief reference here for what some of the scoring cards mean if you need more detail than is on the cards. Uh, Alright, back to what else we've got in the box. We've got this, this score pad, which came out looking really nice. We put some extra pages on there after the pre-production version. We realized we had some space in the box left to work with. So I'm glad we beefed that up. We actually probably could have put five more pages on there, which I know now. And then we've got the cards in their little insert in the bottom. Uh, we did change that slightly between this version and the last version. We gave a little bit more room down here so the cards were easier to drop in and out. A couple different card types in the Great Barrier Reef card game. We've got the reef cards, which are the ones that have the sea life on them. Um, and I really love how these cards came out. They're colorful, they're beautiful, they're sturdy. Um, and their linen finish, which you probably can't see the fine detail on here, but when you get them, um, you'll see that they're textured, they're gorgeous. Uh, I love them. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Bright, colorful fish, bright, curl, colorful sponges, coral, sharks. Uh, yeah, they all look, they all look really great. Uh, so super excited with how those turned out. Additionally, we've got the scoring cards in here. Um, broken down into basic and slightly more advanced. The slightly more advanced ones have a star in the corner. Um, and for most of these games, you're just going to want to end up shuffling your scorecards all together once you're familiar with it. First game, you'll probably want to use just the basic cards, but once you know how to play, just a random assortment of scorecards will give a lot of variety and replayability to the games that you play. Uh, and now let's go ahead and look at some of the other components while we're sharing off these cards. Sorry about the glare on this one. So the punch board bits, I didn't get to show you, but they came out nice and easy. They're really sturdy looking bits. They're going to go on your scoring cards when you play so that you know which fish scores in which way. Uh, I love the sort of narrative there. 
the notion that the clownfish is social and he wants to be surrounded by other fish, uh, or that the damselfish loves to school, so you get points based on how large the group is. Um, I really love the, the ways that, you know, you can play different ways, different games, and then different fish want different things. Uh, it, you know, in a game that, you know, doesn't really tell a story, it makes me feel like there's a, a bit of a narrative there, and I like that very much. So, tokens look great. Then we've got the, let me set those aside. Then we've got the number tokens, these little guys that have uh, fish and numbers on them. They're really cute, they're really clear, I like them a bunch. Um, and when you play, you're gonna create a market with these cards, which is gonna tell you where you draw cards to refill your hand. Like when I play a card with a four on it, I will, when I play a card with a four on it, I will draw the card in the four spot to my hand at the end of the turn. Uh, and I really like that mechanism. I love the way these components turned out. Uh, oh, and I realized that I bailed on our score cards a little bit prematurely because my favorite component in the game is these little coral markers that you use to track uh, your score multiples. Um, they came out really great. They look really cute. And we're not getting an auto adjust yet. There we go. They look really cute. Um, they're sturdy. They're thick. Um, they look really awesome. And I'm pleased as punch, not only about how the manufacturer was able to execute these, but about how our graphic designer made a shape that looks absolutely stunning. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big part of what we want to do with Travel Buddy games. I want the games to look great on the table. I want them to be fun to play. I want them to be approachable. I just want to do it all. Um, and I don't know, I'm, I'm really impressed with how this first production has turned out. I'm excited to bring it to all of you. Uh, the last thing we've got in the box that we didn't talk about are these reference cards, front and back. One of them will give you a brief overview of one of them will give you a brief overview of how to play, and the other side will give you a reference for scoring at the end of the game. So those are really nice as well. Uh, let me tuck those aside, and I'll show you the last bit that came in my box. Uh, if you backed it on Kickstarter, it will be coming in your box. But we've got this scuba diver promo. Uh, little rule card telling you how to use it. It also came with one extra scoring card, Kickstarter exclusive only. I've already mixed that in with uh, my scoring cards. Sorry about that. Uh, but everything came out looking great. So let's go ahead and uh, tuck it back. Oh, the little screws for the punch board, which uh, we already punched. So let's go ahead and put everything back in the box. I'll show you how it fits in there. And then we'll wrap it up. So. Here's the box. Cards go in their own little wells, split between two sides. You can see that the divider uh, only comes up about halfway uh, through the depth of the box. That's to leave room for your other components when you want to put your wooden bits in there, uh, put your score pad in there, put your rule books in there. So one little baggie in the box can hold your tokens and your wooden coral bits score pad, documentation, assorted other components, all in a tiny, gorgeous package. The box is really sturdy, so perfect fit for your backpack or your carry-on when you want to take this game on the go with you. Not too big, obviously uh, thicker than a cell phone, maybe about two or three times, but small enough to fit in a cargo pocket uh, if that's what you want to do with it. So this is the Great Barrier Reef card game by Travel Buddy Games. Uh, special thanks to everybody on Kickstarter who funded this and made this game a reality. I can't wait to get this into your hands. It looks like we're going to deliver early. If you did not get in on the Kickstarter, you can presently pre-order this game on GameFound. Uh, and once the pledge manager is down on GameFound, you'll always be able to get a copy on TravelBuddyGames.com. Thanks so much for watching.